Good afternoon, MITEL Administrator. Scott here with TransWest. And today we are going to go in and look at the features and functions that you as the administrator may adjust and change for a user's mailbox. So let's do this. In order to access the um, Newpoint voicemail system, we need to select the Newpoint web console blade here to come into the new point. And now we're in the new point voicemail section of the collab server. So we're going to search for a particular mailbox. Today we're going to utilize mailbox 7284 and we'll do a quick search. Two ways to come into that mailbox, either click and select edit or double click. All right, so we are now in the mailbox 7284. We're just underneath the basic tab right here is all. But here's the user's name. Here's the user's passcode to access their mailbox. This is the assigned extension that the mailbox is associated with. And this attendant extension this field is usually left blank by your programmer. But what this field is, is you could put in an alternate extension. So when uh, the user could re-record their greetings as such that uh, this is Scott, I'm currently away from my desk. If you need to speak with my assistant, please press zero now and your call will be routed. So that's where you would put in an alternate extension right there. Now, in our office, we do utilize the unified messaging, and that is the feature that when somebody leaves a message in our mailbox, it will um, uh, send an, uh, an email to the user with a uh, WAV file attached with the uh, recorded message that the caller had left. So um, there is my uh, email location to receive my unified messages and this is my UM unified messaging email password. Now what prompted this video today is I overheard a conversation in our office this morning that somebody was no longer receiving their unified messages. So um, what the issue was is that person had recently changed their login credentials to get into their network to to uh, get into their uh, the programs and whatnot that they, they utilize here at our office, just to, their login credentials. So they change that password, so this password needs to match your login credentials for your, uh, your network. So let's do that. Let's scroll back to the top of the page here, and we kind of glossed over this class of service function the other day but we'll come into it and take a, a peek here and see what all's involved here. Now, you have features and limits. This features equates to this features class of service, FCOS for short. There's another acronym for you to remember. This is features that, um, functions that your mailbox is allowed to do. This limits equates to the limits class of service right over here. This is items that, uh, limitations of your mailbox. So we can see that I'm set up with a feature class of service 110 and a, uh, a limit class of service of one. So let's take a look at both of those. So we'll come over to the feature class of service first and we're gonna search for 110. And we see right off the bottom here, we're only up to 10. So we'll select the next page, and here's 110 right here. So this tells me that I'm set up for the unified messaging. So we'll come into that form, and there are 306 items, features, that you can allow your user's mailbox to have. Now, um, anything that's checked, um, such as the passcode cannot be the same as the mailbox. That's a high security feature. I, I highly recommend that. And um, 
So let's do this. Let's show you where to find all those descriptions. So um, back on the top of our home page, there's a help menu top right here. Now I opened that earlier and I'm going to bring that up. And so here it is right here. So we have a, um, a search function up here. And if you type in feature bit descriptions, that will take you. So we can see right here, we've got 0, 0, 001 through 49 with their descriptions. And then down here, we have 100 through 149, the descriptions. And then of course, down further, 150 through 199 and so on. So that just gives you um, a quick way to get a description of what all those features um, are for the mailbox. So now we'll just minimize this and we'll come back, we'll go back to, let's see, let's go down to the limits. And if I recall, I was number one default. So we'll come into the default and here are the areas right here that the greeting length in minutes. So I could record my outgoing greeting in my mailbox as long as it's under two minutes in length. Um, to record my name for the company directory, I've been given eight seconds and so on. So here's your timers right in this area here. So let's go back to that mailbox 7284. And let's see, message waiting field. You're not going to really make any changes in here. You're always going to leave this as my tie messaging. You'll never make any changes there. But let's finish up this video on just with a real quick little lesson on how to create a, a new feature class of service. Because once in a while, you'll have a user that wants something just a little bit different than uh, the rest of the staff. So let's go back into those that FCOS here real quick. And we can see that uh, these are, when the system comes new out of the box, these are all of the defaults. And what TransWest norm normally does is we don't make any changes in these defaults. We leave all the features and functions uh, enabled or disabled just like it came from the factory. But we make a copy of one of these. And we'll come up to page two. So um, uh, we can see that anything in the 100 range at this point are the feature classes of services that we have built here. So eight, uh, one through 18 are the defaults and anything beyond 18 have been ones that have been built here at TransWest. So I see that, uh, wow, we've built some clear up into the 600 range. So as an example, say, let's go back to that feature class of service of, of uh, FCOS 1. And say maybe um, we didn't want that user to be able to have that function to be able to uh, give that option to callers to be able to trans transfer out of the mailbox to another extension. So we don't want to disable this for everybody because we just have one user that, that uh, we need to disallow that function. So what you could do is you could um, create a new one. Let's see. Let's go back over to class of service. And from the home page of the the uh, FCOS, we're going to add. And we're going to copy from number one. And we could give this one a, a number of, say, 201 or 301 or 501, 701. Doesn't really make any difference, just needs to have a unique ID. And you could say, no transfer. Just give it a title so you know what it's about later. And um, once you give your title, then you would need to check or uncheck um, the f specific features. Um, and uh, then at the very bottom, 
Make sure that you scroll all the way down because you know that at this point there's 306 of them and you'll need to uh, do a stare and compare to make sure you add or disallow any of the features that uh, were in the number class of service one and then do your final save right down here. But I don't want to do that today so I'm going to hit my cancel key. So that's just a quick little tutorial on managing a user's mailbox and hopefully it was helpful to you today and thank you for watching. Thank you.